It's currently 7.30, so enjoy listening to the morning traffic outside. Today we're gonna take a look at all the printed patches that I bought for my currently empty battle vest. If you didn't watch my previous video with the embroidered patches, maybe go watch that one first. All of the printed patches I bought are album patches, so just like my previous video, I brought with me the actual album covers so we can compare them to the patch. Then at the end we will do a back patch reveal. I did buy two back patches. It might be hard to decide which one to put on my vest, but we'll talk a little bit about that later on. Also just want to recap what I said in my previous video, that if I could get the official patches from these bands, I would. Obviously there's a reason why I got printed patches, is mostly because the bands either don't sell them or they simply don't exist anywhere. <laughs> So all of these are bootleg that I bought off eBay. The first one is Stratovarius. They do have an official page with the logo patch, but it is the new logo. I've only listened to their stuff with the old logo, so I didn't want to spoil that. In my previous video I showed a bootleg of the old logo patch, but it wasn't really of good quality, so that's why I ended up getting a printed patch instead. I found a seller on eBay that did a few of their album covers and I decided to go for Twilight Time <laughs> uh, for different reasons. First of all, I just really like the album art. Very 80s colored with like outer space themed. Can't go wrong with that. And I like that this has the very first logo and also that it is the very first album. I think, or second, was Fright Night the first? But anyways, I really like that it's the, like the very first logo and that it's Timo Tolki as the vocalist. <laughs> Even though it might not be my top pick for Stratovarius album, uh, I just really like the cover art and that it's the Timo Tolki one. <laughs> and here is the printed patch compared to the album cover. I think the printed quality of this one is quite decent. Obviously they have upped the colors a lot, but I actually quite like that. It's very nice and bright and colorful. Even the bottom text there is quite readable, even though it's very thin, so it's not like the best best quality, but absolutely decent enough. I'm quite happy with this even though it is slightly different. Next up is Hammerfall. They also have an official page going, but they don't have any patches on there. So I got a few, uh, a couple printed ones off eBay, just because I couldn't decide. So we have Renegade, probably in my top three Hammerfall albums, and maybe my top pick for album art. I was really blown away by the quality of this print because it has every little detail. It's also like super smooth to the touch, so silky, just top-notch quality. And the second one I got is Crimson Thunder. Here is the patch, almost like an exact copy, like the print is so good on these. They are from the same seller. I know that text up here is a little bit blown out but if you take a look at the rest like the details on like his spikes up here and everything looks really good i just had to buy them both because i really couldn't decide which one i wanted i don't think i'll put both on my vest i'll probably choose one of them depending on how much space i have i do like them quite a lot and i've listened to them for so long so i wouldn't feel too bad of having like two patches from the same band but yeah we'll see how much space i have next up is sanctuary also mentioned in my previous video where i got the logo as a patch from their official page but i did find this album as a printed bootleg one and I just wanted to see how the quality was on that. So I took the chance and bought it. Also just because I really wanted this album cover because it is fucking dope. Here it is. It's not that great. <laughs> Very muted compared to the album cover. 
looks kind of faded in a way. It also has a very strange feel to it. It almost feels like there's a top layer that can be scratched off. I've kind of tested it and it does seem to be very sturdy, like there's nothing coming off there, but it just kind of feels like there's like a top layer or something. I don't know, it's weird. It's not too bad, I guess it's just more the colors that are kind of faded. This one I'm also not sure if I want to put on my vest or not, mostly because it's not that great of a print and also because I have the official logo. Again, I probably wouldn't mind having both the logo and an album, but again, with all the patches that I have, I might have to purge a few of them, so this one might not make it. Next up is Devil Doll. Now, this is a band that probably not a lot of people know about. They don't really have songs. All of their albums are like one long musical composition and also the type of singing that he does, which I've learned that is called Sprechgesange in German. Uh, that's a thing I learned from Wikipedia. It's very special. <laughs> Definitely check it out if you haven't, which you probably haven't. The music is basically made by one guy, Mr. Doctor, and it's not really metal, but it has metal parts to it. Again, this might not be my favorite album music-wise, but it is my favorite cover, so that's why I went with this one. And here is the patch. Devil Doll stuff is not to be found anywhere. Patches of Devil Doll does not exist anywhere. This might be the only Devil Doll patch in existence, for all I know. <laughs> I found a Russian seller on eBay that made custom printed patches. So I just knew I had to get a Devil Doll patch made. So I had to send him a photo that I took from Google. I do have Photoshop, so I obviously I upped the colors quite a bit and I tried to make the background as wide as possible. Up the contrast a bit so that I could try and get some detail and make the text quite clear. And I think it came out pretty good. His printing quality is quite amazing, I think. Devil Doll just has a very special place in my heart and I'll definitely talk more about Devil Doll in like a future video when I show you my CD collection and stuff, so definitely worth a check if you haven't heard them, which you probably haven't. <laughs> I'm willing to bet on that, so really happy with this one. This is like a holy grail for me. This is definitely getting like an honorable place on my vest, maybe high up somewhere. From the same seller that made the custom ones, I got another Hecate Enthroned. Again, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I showed you the logo patch in my previous video, but I decided to get a printed album patch as well. This was kind of their first full studio album, and I've always liked this album cover. Sadly, you can't really see it that well because it's so small, but that's the one I decided to get. And it looks like this. This one I also had to alter in Photoshop and send in my own picture. Just grabbed it from Google, which was kind of hard actually because there weren't a lot of good quality pictures of their albums on there. Like very low resolution pictures and stuff, but I think I got it somewhat decent. Really great melodic black metal, highly underrated. I don't really listen to black metal at all. This band is like the only exception and I just love them so much. Also very nostalgic for me because I listened to them so much during 8th and ninth grade. And again, they don't even sell Hecate and Throne patches anywhere, not even on their site. So this might also be one of the few Hecate and Throne patches out there, at least with like an album cover. So another one that I'm really happy to have in my collection. And these two last ones that I got custom made, they sadly don't have the stitched edge. This is just kind of black and printed, so this is like completely smooth. But it does have a black border, so I'm not even sure you'll be able to tell when I sew it on. 
Again, I bought the logo before I was able to get the custom ones made, so that's why I have both. It's another kind of duplicate, and I wasn't really sure which one I want on my vest. This is embroidered, but I do really like the fact that I have the album cover, so I definitely kind of wanted them both on there. And then I had the fantastic idea that if you look at the printed patch, most of the upper part is just the logo and there's absolutely no other details around this area, it's just completely black. So I'm thinking that I'll just kind of merge these and I can kind of sew these together like this to make one big patch. Such a freaking genius. And I think that looks pretty dope. And that was actually all the printed patches that I bought. Not too many, I think, but definitely some worthy classics that I felt needed to go on the vest. So now, maybe what you've all been waiting for, the back patch reveal. Like I said, I did get two different ones. I bought one first and then I found out that the seller was able to take requests as well. So then I made him make one especially for me. They are quite a different shape than I'm used to. I mean it's this way though but the back patch that I had back in the day was a little bit more square. Not completely of course but this one has more of a angle to it. So the shape is a little bit different than what I'm used to. Let's just take a look at one of them first. If you watched my previous videos you might know that I was a big Hammerfall fan. They were my favorite band for a really long time. And also kind of my guilty pleasure because back when I was a teenager I definitely was more on like the heavy side, I was more into like death metal and stuff and melodic black and Hammerfall is very like upbeat, more simple in a way and yeah they're not that heavy so I felt like they were a guilty pleasure but they're also really good so I didn't really want to call them that. I feel like they're better than that but yeah for some time I was kind of ashamed to like them but of course, as I grew older, I grew out of thinking like that. But also with saying that, I have kind of grown out of their music. But I feel like that might also be because their, their music has become kind of repetitive and honestly not as good as before. So I do like mostly their really old stuff and I haven't really been following their new stuff. But I decided to get a Hammerfall patch just because they were kind of the foundation of my metal interest for such a long time. And they also have pretty amazing cover art. So the first one I decided to get was Renegade. And yeah, I know I got the small patch of this as well, but that was before I had decided on a back patch. So I definitely won't double up with like the same Renegade small patch and back patch. So depending on which back patch I choose, I will wear just one of them. But here is the Renegade back patch. Woo! It is just so amazing. I like this album cover for so many reasons. It has the Swedish colors with the blue and yellow, the mighty armored steed on his hind legs, hammer high, burning castles in the background, just fucking epic all over. I don't think I've mentioned it before but the guy who designed Hammerfall's album art also designs for World of Warcraft. It might be pretty obvious if you look at the Crimson Thunder album, especially with this guy, very warlock. So yeah that's another element to it that I really like because I played World of Warcraft for a really long time. So yeah, again, here is the patch. I think it has really good print quality. There's a lot of small details. Just really fucking cool. So that is one option. This one was also kind of made by request because I saw that this seller had Legacy of Kings as a back patch. And even though that is my favorite Hammerfall album, I just really don't like the, the art on there. The colors are very black and kind of boring. I just wanted something more vibrant and magnificent for my back patch. So I asked if he could do a different Hammerfall album. So 
this was also kind of made on request. It did turn out really good. Even if I were to use the other back patch, I wouldn't mind just putting this on my wall or something because I just really like the art itself. And now for the second reveal. Maybe you can guess which band I went with because I've been talking a lot about this band in my previous videos. This is a band that I honestly haven't been listening to for that long. I had seen a guy at a concert with I think either a shirt or a back patch with this band. I think that was at the Hammerfall concert. He was talking about this band to his mates and just saying how great they were. And since he was also into Hammerfall, I thought that maybe I'll also like this band. So I decided to check them out. And then I bought one album purely on a whim from what album cover I liked. <laughs> so I bought one album and just listened to that religiously for like probably three years straight. But like last year or so, I finally decided to check out some of their other stuff and now I'm just like all about this band so it is of course Ed Guy. <laughs> the camera battery died so now I'm completely out of it and the sun is here but yeah Ed Guy, Hellfire Club this is what it ended up looking like Doo -doo -doo -doo. this came out so good obviously a lot brighter than the cover but i think that's a good thing for the back patch lots of great details again the background looks good the details on the mask are looking great the text everything is just perfect and i chose hellfire club simply because it is my favorite album cover and also the first Ed Guy album that I listened to and that was also because of the cover and so I chose this because it reminded me of Bram Stoker's Dracula in a way like vampire-ish and just badass since I was able to request whatever back patch I wanted from the seller I guess I could also have chosen the Savage Poetry I'll maybe insert a photo the Savage Poetry is also kind of special because it is a remastered version of their very first album like I said, the Theater of Salvation is probably my favorite so far. I'm just not a huge fan of the cover art, so I prefer having that as a smaller patch. And again, if I end up using this back patch, I think I'm still going to put the smaller patch on my vest as well, because Theater of Salvation needs to go on my vest, no matter what. And then we'll see if I end up with Edguy or Hammerfall Renegade as the back patch. Tell me in the comments which one you like the best. At first I thought I would put Hammerfall as my back patch because they were my favorite for so long. But then when I got the Ed Guy, I thought for sure I'd rather put that on because I'd prefer to have something new that I'm currently in love with instead of something more nostalgic. But as it turns out, not even sure you've heard the news, but Halloween's tour had been postponed so they're going on a tour next year and Hammerfall is joining them and most importantly it's a European tour and then when I checked the dates the first date on their poster is Oslo, Norway so I have to go I have to go see them live this is my maybe one and only chance to see Halloween live like ever I never thought they would come to Norway again. Also really excited to see Hammerfall again, although it's not a necessity. I did see them five years ago. I definitely could have lived with just one Hammerfall concert, but the fact that I get to see Halloween live is so huge. Like, it's almost surreal. The tickets were released just an hour ago and I immediately got one. <laughs> so I actually just freaking bought a ticket to see both Hammerfall and Halloween live next year. If everything goes to plan, you know, with the situation and all. Might not happen, but if it does, then I'm super, super stoked. I can almost not believe it until I see it. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to mention that because that made the choice very easy for me right now. I think I will just have to go with Hammerfall Renegade on my vest so that I can actually wear it to the concert. And then maybe after the concert, I'll like take this off and cherish it forever and then sport the Ed Guy from then on. That seems like a good plan in my opinion. 
I might also be like too attached to the Hammerfall patch after wearing it to the concert, so maybe I won't take it off, but at least the choice is very easy right now. Definitely wearing this so I can wear it next year. I believe that was everything I had about the printed patches and my back patches. My meeting is now in like less than half an hour, so I just need to head out the door and I'm kind of stressed. If I've forgotten something, maybe I'll edit in something here. And if not, then just leave me a comment down below as always telling me which patch you like the best and also which back patch you maybe would have worn. Or if you even have a battle vest, what is your back patch? I would love to know. It will probably take me a good while to sew these onto my vest. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do updates before it's completed. So I'm planning to share my CD collection kind of while we're waiting for the vest to be finished. And as always, a huge thanks to all of my patrons because they make these videos happen. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already and then I'll see you in my next video. Visas.